doing the Picasso exhibition because um, I remember some of your work was inspired by Picasso and, and I loved it. I went, this is so amazing. And I was just thinking that this week and I thought, ah, oh, ah, oh, now I understand. I see you, Because he was taking a dream state and then applying it to his art practice, which to me went, well, that's so psychological. You know, that's very, um, well, it's kind of Jungian. It's, you know, it's all of those things. And, and the fact that he did that and then he applied that to his artwork right at the beginning, like he was doing that in the 1920s. So, you know, at a time... Before, you know, when my grandparents were young people, you know, like in the flapper time, like, and so I thought about that and how knew that, because I always, I'm fascinated by time. I think, you know, at each point when something is new and they're doing it, that is modern because that is the now time. And here we are, a hundred years later, reflecting back on something that was done then. And that to me is, wow, you know, it's kind of like we are all interconnected like the stars and that is a part of Muro's work that I really connected with was the blue star. And I posted some of the photos of this, of my work, um, on Facebook and some people that I know overseas have come back with, oh, I love that starfish thing that you've used because um, because they know I live at the beach. And, and I thought, oh, isn't that interesting? I didn't think of them as starfish at all. But it, it teaches me that, you know, interpretation of art is really an individual experience. And so, and Miron knew that. You know, so that's, oh, I guess, most of those big artists, that Picasso, you know, Dali, everyone kind of, you know, understands that people interpret their own, in, well, what is it? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So, yeah, so that's kind of, yeah. I think the real thing that you were talking about because he was unique in this time. Yes, in the yes. Realism, but with his yes. yes, so could be related to the artist who was doing dropping, uh, I can't remember now the name. Oh, um, Pollock? Pollock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. Miro, he continued with his work even was different. Yes. Ah, 
uh, I remember one quote um, investigating about one uh, about Joan Miró. Uh, one lady uh, went to see an exhibition about Joan Miró, the, the real work, and she said to the curator, "Oh, my son can do it this." And the curator said, "Yes, but your son is hundred years later." Later, yes, and has been exposed to this and all of the things that have come because. We have genetic memory and we take what our, you see, in my ancestry, there are, on my mother's side, we found out there was this Maori um, inheritance of you know, ancestral makeup. And I look at the work of, in New Zealand, like artwork, of, and they're very advanced like that. And I think, are we affected by, you know, I look at their silver fern or, you know, the thing, the logos, you know, the World Expo 88 logo on the side of that. And I didn't even know I had a New Zealand connection at that point, but I, I was attracted to it. So I think there's something in our own makeup that, that brings us together. And yes, we remember things. We remember things down through generation. And who's to say that that woman who said, oh, my son could do that, or my grandchild could do that, wasn't actually related in ancestry somehow to Moreau. And that's why their son can do that, or that's why many sons can do that. <laughs> we are all one. We are interconnected. Thank you. <laughs> so can you describe your creative process for the particular artworks and how they evolve from the initial concept to the final stage? Yes, well, um, for me, I started reading about Moreau and I started looking at his paintings. I really connected with the Blue Star. Mm -hmm. And then when we were meeting and deciding which charity we would want to support this time and we came up with Orange Sky, um, I was really moved by that. And I thought about the star and the, the blue star and I thought about how Moreau had chosen to paint a blue star and that reminded me of being blue or being sad or the, the connection with um, that and homelessness and how big an issue homelessness is for people now. And I thought about my own time as a teenager when I kind of had a difficult relationship with my mother and my father was away at sea so I was a teenage runaway and I was living a homeless life. And and I, for me, I was only a teenager. That wasn't such a hard life because I wasn't, I wasn't very old. So to me, it was a bit of an adventure. But I would also see old people who were living a homeless life and had had a very different experience from me. And I thought, this is really rough. We need to be... Um, much more concerned about trying to house people, really. And so when we was decided to support Orange Guy, I thought that's a great um, organisation to support because people who are homeless need access to showers, they need access to clean clothes and to make their life seem, at least to them, as normal as they can possibly have in a time where, you know, because they may be still trying to get a job. They may be still trying to, you know, live a life that is that shows a mask, which is fair enough. I, I'm an actor. I understand the, the idea of having a mask to hide what is private, what is your feeling. Mm -hmm. And so, in a way, those things um, were kind of influenced me in terms of this artwork because I, I work a lot with suitcases. I've done a project with um, kids who were um, foster children at the, um, at the at the international conference in Melbourne that was um, for foster parents and it was about how we use, well, we use the suitcase as a baggage, how we, in life, take baggage with us and we move with our baggage. And a suitcase to me represents a couple of different things. It's an aspirational thing. 
because we like to travel. Oh yes, darling, let's travel. Let's pack our suitcase and now we'll travel. But we also carry with us our suitcase of stuff and our, our difficulties. And Gemma knows that she's been exposed to some of my baggage and she is quite really well with that because we panic or we, you know, so we bring our baggage. And so I did this show with um, some kids who, through the Create Foundation, you know, 20 years ago, where we used suitcases and we made, we built a staircase so we could use our baggage to, to bring us up. And so I looked at Moreau's picture of the farm and I saw that he used a ladder. And I remember when I was doing that work with those kids, we used a ladder of participation. It's a, a social um, mm -hmm. uh, process that you work with people where their levels of participation are on varying rungs, basically. So I wanted to put that ladder into a suitcase and also bring back my um, my friend who was homeless that I'd run into a number of times in his life, or associate, um, and he had the notion of sleeping under a thousand star hotel. And so the suitcase to me represents the thousand stars of the hotel. And, and so it's filled with stars, but not just the stars like these stars, but also we got some rocks and painted them and engraved. I had to get Belinda to engrave because my hands wouldn't stay still with the engraving. So we engraved stars like Moreau style stars on the painted rocks because in a way it's the, the rocks that we're dragging through life and, you know, bringing all of our stuff. And anyway, there's three little bluebirds sitting on the ladder as well because I wanted it to have a happy tune. <laughs> dog star, a little white dog star in the corner because there was this painting of Miro where he had the dog howling at the moon and a ladder and, yeah. and I thought, oh, I want to incorporate that. And there's a tree from the farm because the farm, well, when I look at Miro's the farm, and actually Ernest Hemingway owned that picture and he wrote about that, that that picture for him embodied Spain. It embodied Spain because it's the Spain you're in when you're there and it's the Spain you remember when you're away. And so that kind of was home in a way, like the Moreau home.